Herzlichen Dank, Herr Zuckerlas. Thank you, Mr. Zuckerlas. Να σας καλησπέρισω, ερήτημος, κυρία και να σας... Welcome to the European Parliament, Commissioner-designate. I'm over here. Three colleagues have talked about net neutrality. I'd like to try and summarize it all by asking you, first of all, you're ready to commit yourself to protecting the neutral nature of the net. What actual actions would you take to guarantee that neutrality of the open net for European citizens? You also spoke about various interventions on VOIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, people trying to prevent that from moving forward. What measures would you take in that respect as well? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Of course. It is again together with the member states and together with the national regulators. Having, sa having said that, it is absolutely, if we are talking about net neutrality, then it can't be make a difference that VOIP can't be done, for that is exactly another way of using the same infrastructure, so to say. So then we have to act, and then we have to force those owners of, for then I'm coming back to the answer I gave earlier to Mr. Ulsko, Mrs. Ulsko, that um, there is a absolutely difference between commercially um, approach reasoning for not allowing, not acceptable, then it's against the rule so to say. So I'm absolutely confident that together we can, but we have to be active and we have to monitor and we have to communicate that this is really uh, serious uh, and that uh, that will be the line. Do you think that internet neutrality should also be a binding precondition for new telecommunications networks, particularly if those want to benefit from the digital dividend? In principle, I think we need to stick to the line that it is net neutral and also with new involvements and new developments. Uh, I'm not saying that forever, for that is out of my scope, so to say. But as far as we are aware now, it is all over the place. <laughs>